Before I get into this video, it is vital, it is very important that you know that here on the Jade Fox channel, we're all about that yuck, yuck, okay? We're all about the jokes. We don't take things too seriously. So I'm going to suggest that you also not take this video too seriously. We're not here to hurt people's feelings, but we are here for a nice roast. We are here for a good time. So do not fret, my handsome friend. Do not worry your pretty little sideburns. This is gonna be okay. Promise. I'd also like to thank Karma for sponsoring this video. Now hold on, before you fast forward, because I know y'all be fast forwarding. The information that I have for you in regards to this sponsor has helped me in my life, uh, kind of like a good father. And I think that it can help you too. Way before the sponsorship had even happened, I had been using Karma and I have saved so many ducats. Okay, Jay, but what is it though? Karma is an app and Chrome extension that uses technology to ensure that you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. And we stand a coupon code on the Jay Fox channel, okay? Take it off, 25%, <laughs> you know? Karma also lets you organize your saved items into multiple wish lists so you can shop more mindfully and intelligently during these times, which means save your money, don't impulse buy. Karma used to be called Shop Tagger. The new name represents the good karma they put forth by helping you and I shop smarter. For those of you that are tuned in, that are locked in, y'all already know about my second channel, my Made You Looks channel. I do a lot of shopping for those videos, hauls, outfit videos, this, that, and the fourth and the fifth, okay? I use the extension so that whenever I'm in a checkout, and the thing is I don't even have to hit the button, it'll literally tell me once I get to the checkout, like, hey, there's coupons here. There's savings to be had. Head over to one of your favorite stores and click the button or slider when you see an item that you want to save. And the best part is that you can get notifications pushed to your phone, your email, wherever you want your notifications. They'll let you know when there's a price drop. They'll let you know when something's on sale. They'll let you know when something is out of stock, when something is in stock. And even better, baby, you can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. So go ahead and hit that link in the description to go ahead and start saving. You can download it on your phone. You can download it on your computer. The choice is yours. I think it's time that we get into these looks now. So here we are in the baby gay attire. This is uh, the lesbian who just came out to her best friend over a basket of chicken tenders. I have on the quintessential Vans. Okay, you're gonna see these Vans pop up again. A dramatic cuff for no reason um, with the colored sock, because baby gays love color. They're embracing that rainbow flag. You know, speaking of, I got the Pride Fanny Pack. The Fanny Pack is here to carry the Baby Gay essentials, such as vanilla, tapstick, and homemade bookmarks, as well as iPhone cases. I don't know, I'm old. And then, you know, underneath bringing the whole fit together, we have the jumpsuit a short sleeve jumpsuit and then I cuffed you know I cuffed the sleeves because baby gays uh, are very much guns out buns out the cuff is vital the cuff I would say is probably the most important thing maybe it's metaphorical because the desperation for a partner is very real gotta have the, the lip ring. I don't think that there's a reason for it, but maybe it's just something that you can hang your suspenders from. And the lip ring is really the precursor to color contacts. The baby gays are rebels, they're figuring out their style, you know, and so you experiment a lot and you put rings in your lips to make you look like a shower rack. That's what we're giving for baby gay. Next. So this is the IG lesbian. Now there's several types of the IG lesbian. This is just the one that I'm gonna go with today. This girl decided that she was Ruby Rose of her hometown and just ran with it. All the photos on her Instagram are from the same angle. She's very heavy on the accessories to make up for her lack of like interesting personality. She most likely has light eyes and likes her women like she likes her eyes. Not brown. She hasn't socially distanced in a year. Probably has a YouTube channel as well. 
where the topic of the content isn't really anything, but she kisses a lot. Her interests include joggers, pushing her own hair back. I feel like I nailed this one. I've got, you know, the short sleeve, loose little button up um, with, the, with the unnecessarily chunky chains. I have that quintessential lock chain. The size six kids Air Forces with the skinniest jeans that I could find. I feel like these jeans are taking my blood pressure right now. I feel like when I take these off, the hair on my legs is gonna come off with them. I got the dangly earring here too. This girl, she she's breaking the gender binary. She's truly a pioneer. So now we have the stem. Uh, and what I know about stems, if you do not know, stem is a mixture of the words stud and femme. So they're masculine, but they can do like a fleeky concealer look. All stems that have long hair, whether it be theirs or someone else's, regardless, they will always have a hat on. I have on the Cuban necklace, which is also very vital to the situation. I have an oversized band t-shirt of a band that I don't even think is real. I would say probably about 60% of the t-shirts in their closet are from Forever 21 mainly because they be having the deals. Secondly, because the men's section at Forever 21 is a STEM safe space. Then of course I have the skinny jeans, but not only do I have the skinny jeans on, I'm sagging the hell out of these skinny jeans because STEMs also, I believe that they believe that their vagina is close to their knees. And so that's why, you know, there's a lot of grabbage going on down here. Um, and then I have one of the Yeezys because stems are always going to be drippy. They're always going to have lip drip. This girl is either an athlete now or was a former athlete. They were most likely a point guard for soccer. She smells like she swam in a sea of cologne. You should expect her to walk in and have the entire room smelling like a forest fire. She doesn't buy anything below a size large. Also abs. Just abs, no reason. This girl hasn't seen a deadlift since her days in the outfield of softball. If you haven't caught on to it by now, I'm a butch babe. And what we're not gonna do is disrespect the butch babes because these people were here around Stonewall. They've gone through much, much, much more than a lot of us probably ever will just to live their most authentic lives and to appear in the world however they so choose. This is before the Sierra Like a Boy video came out. And therefore, when you wore more masculine things, there were repercussions. Not saying that there aren't now, but saying that this is a part of a movement. So what we're going to do is put some respect on my bitch babe's names and we're going to respect the journey. What we don't have to respect though is the fashion because what the fuck? I have everything. I, I mean, it fell off, but I had the eyebrow piercing. Um, I got the tank top and obviously, um, you know, the butch babes, especially at Pride, they love to wear tank tops with just phrases on them that are painfully unfunny, like uh, FBI, federal booty investigator. Beers with my queers. Cheers! These women have the aura of a warm Coors light. I would even say that the fashion is intentional because whenever you see them, they just look capable. Like you could fix a printer with no, like you wouldn't even have to Google it. Like you would just know. I have the aviators. I got the flannel. I got the big shorts. And to be honest with you, this might be the be one of the best outfits in this video. I think I'm a fashion forward butch babe at Pride. I look masculine. No, I don't. You know, I just look like I'm ready to work. Like I look like I'm ready to help you push a car. To fix a, to, to change oil in the tire. You know, I got the Doc Martens on because we need non-slip shoes in this butch lifestyle. I got the, the long socks to protect myself from the, the swamp waters when I clean the axle. And then I got my, I feel like butch women or women who present butch 
tend to have some type of chunky metal accessory, whether that be a wallet chain or just like a very gaudy bracelet or something like that. And that maybe that's a hint at a BDSM lifestyle. This is a look. It's a look. I think that this is a great place to end this video. I might do another one of these. Obviously, I only did four and there's way, way more. We haven't even gotten to like the femmes and honestly, I would do them, but I cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered to try and put something so close to my cornea, like trying to do mascara and oh god it sounds exhausting and also dangerous go ahead and like this video let me know show me that you want another one of these by liking this video subscribing leaving a comment did i nail them i feel like i nailed them okay uh but y'all let me know thank you to karma for sponsoring this video go ahead and click that link down in the description start saving you some money while you are online shopping because i know y'all be shopping on the onlines I know y'all be shopping on the online. I'll see y'all soon in another one. Bye, girl.